Hi you guys, my name is Rachel Brady. Welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, I'm a stay at home mum of two. I've got a seven year old boy and a five year old girl, Arthur and Beatrix. I live in the Peak District where we're renovating a farmhouse. Um, yeah, and I'm a family food blogger and I vlog do videos about kind of family stuff, out and life alcohol free and all that jazz. Okay, so today's video is one that I, sorry if I get a bit overexcited or a bit kind of crazy, <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so I have some news. Um, I am pregnant. Ah! Um, I kind of feel like, ah, oh, I never thought this video would happen. Um, I never thought, I, I accepted, I've accepted for three years, um, wrongly accepted for three years that I wouldn't have a third child. And I feel so blessed and so happy to tell you that I am five weeks pregnant. Um, and so yeah, where to begin? Okay, so I have a seven year old and a five year old as I said, and for about three years we've been trying for another baby on and off. Um, the off is when we've had to kind of go, this isn't working, why isn't it working? I'm 38 and my husband is 41, so we kind of put it down to age or bad luck. Anyway, to cut a long story short, we went to a private fertility doctor, oh good, about in the um more than six months ago in the summer last year i can't remember the first appointment was pretty even earlier than that um and he did loads of tests anyway everything is fine apart from one thing i am producing the hormone prolactin uh, my prolactin levels are really high so prolactin is a hormone that your pituitary gland in your brain produces and mine is overactive i have a small growth on my brain brain tumor seriously I never thought when I went to the doctor about not being able to get pregnant that he would say you've got a brain tumour. It's benign, it's a, it's a small growth, very, very small, um, and it's producing too much prolactin. My body therefore thinks I'm lactating, hence the lact, lack part of the word, uh, and um, that is causing, that was causing an interruption to my ovulation, so I wasn't, wasn't ovulating. So even though uh, so the signs over the years, I didn't lactate. A lot of people who have this actually lactate, but I mean, that, that is really hard to deal with, but at least you know, whoa, that's not normal. I'm not pregnant. Oh, sorry, I've not had a baby, sorry. Um, I didn't lactate. I had no symptoms apart from my periods went from kind of being roughly 28 days. Over the years, they'd shrunk down to kind of 22, 24, 23. Really irregular, but only from the point of being shorter than usual not crazy regularly or not like no, no period for three months and then period solidly for a month um so yeah um yeah so i had a brain scan they were they confirmed it i had like four prolactin tests and then you again and again and again yes it's definitely that um and so i said what can i do so they gave me uh two options they could have an operation remove the thing which they said literally would be a hammer to crack a nut which i agreed with daft idea um and old ladies sometimes and it tends to be ladies obviously that get this um and do have an operation to remove that cyst but it tends to be only if it's grown so much that it interferes with their vision anyway uh, the other option is to take a drug called bromocryptine uh, so I took the drug for two months. The first month I had a wobble, we were on holiday and I wasn't convinced that my partner wanted to kind of definitely do this. So I stopped taking it because the drug makes you feel quite ill as well. Um, <clears throat> and then we decided, no, let's go ahead. And so basically the first month I properly took it properly, we got pregnant. And I did look on the forums and they, people did say, you know, bromocryptine works. So if you've been put on it, get ready to get pregnant. So uh, I'm five weeks, so I found out I was pregnant about a week ago um, and when I did the test, I literally, I was in shock. People say when they're in shock, they're speechless, you know, that I've, I've never experienced anything like it. But bear in mind how many pregnancy tests I've had that, are, that were negative over the last three years. I just, it was just normal to me. I just got used to it. Um, so to get a pregnancy test and, and it say pregnant, I literally was just... I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. The kids were off school. It was during the Christmas holidays still. Uh, I put a film on for the kids, shut the door and walked around the house talking to myself. I'm pregnant, oh my God, I'm pregnant, oh my God. And I had to wait for like two hours for Adam to come home and that's so I could tell him. Um, 
yeah so obviously this video won't go out until i'm 12 weeks which is kind of i think in march so uh way down the line but i wanted to record it now uh, and i guess i'll mix this in with a five week update which is there's nothing to report really um i feel a bit tired uh i don't feel very sick touch wood i'm really wondering if this is a boy because i don't feel sick uh, with B, I felt really sick, and with Arthur, I didn't, so I'm wondering if it's a boy. Um, so yeah, just fingers crossed, and I'm so thankful that I'm pregnant, and I just wanted to share this news with you all, and um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing like loads of pregnancy updates, but I will obviously check in and do the odd one. Um, yeah, so that was my kind of secondary infertility, prolactinoma, <laughs> I'm pregnant video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up and if you like the video and comment below. Do you know anything about prolactinoma? I think it's called hyperprolactinemia. Oh, it's a right mouthful. Anyway, that's all for now. Do take care, guys. Bye.